Yo, what's up guys, I'm the Promiser and today I am back with a brand new video and today we are going to be talking about the DLC or the Black Ops Pass that you can buy from the Black Ops 4 store, like in the game or like on online. Or you can get, I, f I think you can get the game with with it actually like, building like a limited one you can get. Um, but yeah, so today, today's video we're going to talk about DLC and the reasons why I won't be buying it, um, like any of the DLC for the game probably, unless, well, I will go the reasons and then I'll say why I'm, so I might buy it, I don't know, but we'll see. But So, first of all, I want to talk about the matchmaking, if you have the DLC, so if I bought the DLC and the Black Ops Pass and stuff, uh, the matchmaking is going to be, I've heard it's that it takes a bit longer to find a game because I, I believe it takes you out of the normal normal lobbies so say say if I have the DLC and somebody else doesn't I don't get put in the same like lobbies as them so I'll if I have the DLC I will put in lobbies with people who only That's have the game. DLC so it's gonna take a, bit, a little bit longer to find games which some people might not find that a problem, but I have really too fussed about it. That's like one of the like lower reasons for it. But another one is because you're only getting in games with people who have the DLC. People who buy the DLC tend to be not as casual players of the game. They tend to play the game a lot more than normal people who are just coming on to have a few games. So people who buy the DLC normally play the game quite a lot and a try as basically and nobody likes playing against a full teams every single game of just complete triads um, I, I remember that from like I think it was Advanced Warfare maybe like the skill based matchmaking that was a horrible horrible cod that like literally every game was just triads everywhere if you're good at the game um, that's one of my main reasons is the matchmaking system um, and the triads, if you if you have the DLC, because you can't get put into normal normal games with, with people who are who haven't got the DLC. Um, there's a low population, as I've already said, and so another reason is the maps aren't actually that great, in my opinion. Like, fair enough. In like some cards, they've brought quite a few decent maps out. Like I remember Stadium from Black Ops One. It was kind of a mixed mixed opinion about that map, but there was a load. There's been loads of maps that have been brought out that are just absolutely terrible, and people are buying them for I think it's like ten quid. But the maps are absolutely shocking most of the time, and really you just you end up don't even really want to play in them, and then you can't even disable the DLC. I believe anyway. I don't know if you can do it in this one, but I believe I know in the ones you haven't been able to disable the DLC, which is a bit annoying. Which because I, I believe they did have it in Black Ops One, where you could turn it off and on, which was good, which was a good good like thing. But I believe you have to delete delete off your hard drive or something else, which I can't really be doing with that. But, but yeah, the maps are great. I think the only reason why I would buy the DLC or some of the DLC. Is if they brought out some old maps. I think I, I did, I did do a video on this like a like a while ago, um, hoping that it was going to bring out some new maps. But I don't know if they will. They might do in the future. But that's like probably the only reason why I would buy the maps is if they actually brought out um, some old maps from previous CODs. But I don't know if they will do that. We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, that's my opinion really. If you disagree or agree, just leave a comment and um, yeah, that's my opinion really. It's just the matchmaking trials is just a waste of money, like really. But um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on DLC, um, and that will be the end of the video, the end of the game. Uh, it's currently Nuketown 24/7 as well. On um, I think it's Mercenary as well, though, which is pretty decent. Um, that game, I believe. I don't even know what I went. I went 42 and 7 on TDM Newtown. So, Newtown's out now. I'll be bashing out quite a bit. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And please leave a like if you want. And subscribe. Cheers, and I will see you in the next video.